Hi friends, Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. Guess what? We finally found a house. Now it's probably going to sound very echoey in here because it's all tile floor. We don't have any rugs down yet. There's no pictures or anything like that or curtains to absorb sound. So you might have to put up with an echo for a little while. But I started to set up my sewing space a little bit. Let me tell you, I love this house so much. Um, we're getting settled in. We've only been here not even a week. Like, uh, let me think, four or five days or something like that? Yeah, we haven't even been here a week. Maybe, yeah, not even a week. Anyways, doesn't matter, irrelevant. We're getting settled in, we're getting situated. Um, and of course, I was eager to get back to sewing and crochet. It's still very hot here, so I haven't wanted to work on like blankets or anything. Um, and to be honest, I don't think I've crocheted on anything but a dishcloth and possibly, I started an amigurumi, but I can't remember. Regardless, I'm just sitting in here. I am finishing up working on this baby quilt I should have had done like a year ago. Yeah, so I am working on this. I'm just gonna finish quilting it up. So I'm just gonna take some short video and attach it to previously recorded video of me assembling this and putting this baby quilt together and get a video out there for you. And now that we are somewhat settled, getting settled into our new place, hopefully I can have more consistent videos now. It's very quiet out here. We're out in the country, so that's nice. It's very peaceful and relaxing, and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't even know how many times I could say it. And I will take you on a tour at some point um, of just the surrounding area and stuff like that. But for now, let's get sewing. And if I haven't said it already, welcome back to everybody who's been with me before. And if this is your first time here, seeing what I'm up to, welcome. I uh, hope you enjoy my little crafty corner of the world. Uh, I crochet, I sew, I um, do other crafty things. So if that's your kind of thing, stick around and consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it very much. All right, let's get to quilting. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just doing straight line quilting. Um, it's just a little baby quilt and on a domestic machine to me, that's the easiest, either diagonal or uh, where I go a quarter inch on either side of the uh, seam here. Um, the, I don't know what it's called, but the X. I just do that. It's just easier for me, maybe wavy lines um, I just want to get this finished up. I'm almost done. I've done all of the horizontal and now I'm doing all the vertical lines.
Okay, I only have um, this row and this row and then two on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up and then I'll come back and show you what I do to the borders. It is many, many hours later. It's the same day, but many hours later. I had uh, several distractions and now I'm back at my sewing machine, finishing up quilting the borders on this baby blanket. I literally have half a row left to do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up quilting these borders. I'm just doing like a little wavy stitch, um, serpentine on all the borders, three lines of serpentine on the borders, and then I'll be done quilting, and then all I have to do is bind this baby quilt and it will finally be done. My baby quilt, a year in the making. Sorry if you can hear a little fan blowing in the background. It was really hot in here, so I turned on a little fan to cool it down a little bit. Um, I've also been making some project bags and some zipper pouches. Um, I will show you those uh, here real quick. Um, just experimenting a little bit with some other patterns and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera towards the sewing machine while I finish up this border and then all I'll have to do is trim it and bind it. So stay tuned for that. So as you can see, I'm just doing this serpentine stitch. I literally just have from here to here and I will be all done. So. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys how it's turning out. Uh, <laughs> I made a, a boo-boo. I accidentally caught the backing. <laughs> it flipped and I caught it in one of the borders. So I had to unpick those stitches and fix it. Now, I am not a professional quilter. Um, you know, tote bags and stuff like that is one thing. But I'll tell you what. I will never quilt a quilt on a domestic sewing machine again, especially this one. And I'll tell you why. Ooh, it's got this curve right here. So I can't even put my hand flat to do it, to, to hold my fabric, because it's got this curve. It's bad enough that the throat is not that high. I mean, it's got a nice size as far as like being able to roll the quilt, but it's got this, I'll take a picture and insert it uh, over here. But it's got this curve right here. And so you can't even really fit. You know, I can only go about a few inches and then my finger hits that curve. And if I get too close, I've actually caught my finger on this, on the uh, mechanism that goes up and down that little, I don't even know what it's called. Um, and that hurts real bad. I've caught it twice already today, so. That's no fun. I, I said some off color words that um, didn't sound very nice. So here we go, let's finish this up. And I will be done. That's about as far as I can go and then I have to move my hand down. Because that hurts and it hurts your wrist because it's in the way, I mean. This is definitely not a quilting sewing machine, domestic quilting. It is more for like, you know, doing my bags and quilting my tote bags, that's no problem. Um, it's definitely for piecing, fixing seams, things like that. At some point, I would like to get like, oh, I got a pin. <laughs> what do you know, a piece of my hair. Um, I would like to get a nice big throat so type of sewing machine for domestic quilting. My dream is to get a, a long arm quilting machine, but that's way down the road. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see, we'll see. That would be my dream though, is to get a, a long arm quilting type of machine at home so I could, I could quilt all day and all of the night. Okay, and um, something else I was going to say, I've been cutting the thread because I'm horrible at, uh, stitch in the ditch. I mess up all the time. And then I discovered something else that I learned. I think I have my batting 
the wrong direction. So like this is more of the bumpy side and this is the smoother side and I think this is the right side and this is the wrong side. So I did it backwards. The things you learn, right? As you're as you're doing as you're doing quilting for the first. This is only, I think what is it? The fourth small quilt I've ever done on a domestic machine. The first one was one I made for my dogs. I believe the second, yeah, the second, I made the first one and the second one for my dogs. The third one I made for Logan. This is the fourth one. So besides like, like I said, tote bags and things like that, I, I'm, I, I'm not a quilter per se, you know? I'm just learning quilting, so I know there are lots and lots and lots of um, YouTube channels, and I have been watching some of them to try to learn quilting better. But I know, I like, I would love, I think I have a darning, uh, I think it's called a darning foot for like free motion quilting. I, I, I want to practice that because I would love to do like stippling, I think it's called, and they make it look so easy, but boy, I'll tell you what, it's not easy for me. Yeah, you'll, you'll see all my boo-boos, and it's okay, because you know what? This is for a family member, it's for a baby in the family. Like, look, look, you'll see it. it it's not great. Like, see, see right there? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I'm not pulling all that out to fix it. It's just for baby. It'll be okay. But I think if I used a walking foot, it would be better. But of course, this was at the very end, so it is what it is. But all the quilting is done. I'm gonna lay this out on the table and uh, show you guys so you can see what I've done. Well, there it is, all done all quilted. Of course, it's not perfect. I just did the serpentine on the border and then uh, I just did a quarter inch around uh, the seam on all the squares. And I think I, well, let me show you. This is my big boo-boo right here. And I know what happened. I'm not fixing this, I'm leaving it because there's nothing I can do simply because my, well, first of all, my first mistake was not using a walking foot. My second mistake was I tried to, before I even quilted anything else, like the squares or anything, <clears throat> I tried to do a stitch in the ditch around the whole outside, which was a big no-no. Because for one, I'm not, where is it? Let me find it, where is it? Well, I mean, I'm sure you guys will find 8 million boo-boos. Um, don't mind my thumbnail. I got a piece of wood stuck in my nail and it freaking was painful. Right here. I'm not very good at stitch in the ditch. So I went all the way around the entire outside of the square. So like the big square first. So when I went to go quilt, instead of starting in the center, and working my way out so that I could ease the fabric, it was stuck in that position because I did that and I wasn't about to go pull all them stitches out. So it just is what it is. It's gonna be like that. The, the binding will hide some of that, but it's for my grandbaby. She won't care. She'll understand when she's older that Mima was learning and I still think it turned out super cute. So there it is, all quilted, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna trim it down, square it up, and then cut all my binding, which I'll probably attach the binding tomorrow. And then I can show you guys it completely done. And that will be the end of this year long project. Yeah, I'm way behind on my quilt making. But there it is, guys. It looks nice from the back, I think. <clears throat> but there it is. I'm gonna square it up, give it a good press, 
and then um, cut all the binding and get ready to bind it probably tomorrow. And then this baby blanket will be done. Looks kind of cute from the back though, I think. But you can see clearly like where I cut. Uh, it's not horrible, but oh, or just wrinkled, but I'm gonna give it a good press and you guys will get a better view of what that looks like. It's another day and I'm getting ready to do the binding. It's the next day after what I recorded on doing the quilts. Um, I've trimmed it, I've squared it up. It's ready to go uh, to get the binding put on. I actually wound up cutting uh, two inches from here to here. It was a little bit longer than that, which kind of sort of helped with that boo-boo. But I was thinking, as far as binding goes, because there are some pretty greens sprinkled throughout this baby blanket, I thought of doing a green binding. What do you guys think? I think it's so cute. Kind of, I was going to do the same color and just make it match, but I decided I think I'm going to do this green binding. And I just think that'll look super cute with this baby blanket. It goes well with all the colors. So I'm going to get this prepped, get this sewn together and get the binding put on. And then this will be done and I'll show you. to the iron, iron it this way, and then attach it to the baby blanket. All right, I got my binding all made and I'm getting ready to attach it to the quilt. I'm going to start it, not up here, not up here, but I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna go down about, I don't know, um, And I'm gonna go slow because I, this is the first time, or actually I've practiced a few times, but this is the first time I'm actually doing binding. Yeah. I'm scared. So I'm gonna go down like, I don't know. And I don't wanna do quite a quarter inch just because um, it's a very, it's not even a two and a half inch, it's two and a, two and a quarter. It's going to be a super tight, thin binding. And I don't know if that's going to look nice or not. I mean, it's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty tiny. So if I go all the way hmm, to here, like an eighth of an inch, I think that's what I'm going to do. Maybe you could see better that way, and that way this big old blanket's not getting in your way. There we go. Ooh, I'm nervous. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm gonna go slow and just take my time because, okay. I'm gonna go back. And I'm just gonna go super slow all the way around the quilts. I'm not gonna film the whole process because that would be super boring for you.
back. <coughs> and pull it down. Uh, I got the binding attached to the back and now I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to machine bind it obviously to the front as well. So that's all I'm working on. I'm almost done. I am in the home stretch. I only did a two inch binding because I wanted a very thin little so we'll see. I got to go watch a video on how to I mean, do I just flip it? I mean, how does that work? Is that how you do it? I don't even know. I think so. I gotta go watch a video. Anyway, on the home stretch, guys, I am almost done with this. I'll show you the final results. Okay, my friends, it is done. It's bound, it's ironed, it's quilted. I absolutely think it turned out adorable. My little granddaughter is going to love it. I'm just sorry it took so long, but look at how cute. Little patchwork. This is that area I messed up on. I had three lines of this quilting, wavy quilting, but I just trimmed it back to try to cut off some of that damage, but it is what it is, right? But look how cute. It's the first time I did binding like this. I think it turned out super cute. It's so girly. And it's just, I love all the colors. So there it is. The baby quilt is done. Now final measurements are 38 inches in height, 31 inches wide. So 38 tall by 31 wide. I think it's a pretty decent size uh, quilt. It can go in her crib. She can use it to play, What a, you know, on the floor. She can have it in the car in the winter when they're traveling. I just think it's so cute. I'm gonna take some, I mean, it's not perfect. Like I said, I've got some mismatched intersections, some puckering, but it turned out really cute and I really like it. So there it is, my friends. The quilt is done. Finally, one of the projects off my to-do list. This is the back. I think it looks really cute. That's my video today, guys. A year in the making, but the quilt is finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so happy to finally have this done and be able to give it to my little granddaughter. Um, like I said, it's not perfect, but done is better than perfect. So next time I see, I wish I would have got this binding done earlier. My daughter, uh, stepdaughter stopped by today to pick up something and I could have given it to her then, but Say la vie, c'est la guerre. I will give it to her the next time I see her. Anyway, folks, off to other projects. I'm working on some Halloween projects and things like that. So that will be in my next video. And I really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching this today and spending a little bit of your precious, valuable time with me. I hope you're having a wonderful Labor Day weekend a safe Labor Day weekend, and doing something fun and enjoying your time off. So until the next video, my friends, this is, uh, instead of saying Alaska Crafty Gal, I might just say Crafty Gal Victoria and slowly ease out the word Alaska. So this is Crafty Gal Victoria here, 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.